Hello friends, I am here with the first video of scheduling policies and it is the first come first serve. So this is the easiest one and I start the video by explaining the chart. So there are processes, four processes and a column named arrival time and burst time. So arrival time means the time which the processes arrives and the burst time means the amount of the time required by a process for its executing. Right. So it is the burst time and this burst time it is also called execution time, execution time and running time. So burst time, execution time or the running time all means the same. So in first come first serve, the burst time, the burst time do not matter. That means however long the processes, however long the processes, if they arrive first, they get the priority first. Right? I write it down. However long the processes. However long the processes, if they arrive first, they get the priority first. So that is the point, that is the basic point in first come, first serve. So, in all these five uh, scheduling policies, we have to do five things. They are, first we have to uh, draw the GAN chart. Then we have to find the waiting time, average waiting time, turnaround time and finally average turnaround time. So, uh, we have to start with the GAN chart. So, this is how we do it. First, we have to draw, uh, draw like this and we have to place these processes according to this point, with this basic point. So let's see from P1, P2, P3 and P4 you can see that P1 is the process which arrives first because its arrival time is zero. So we have to place P1 here without any doubt we can place it here because its arrival time is zero. So we have to write it here. It starts with zero, arrives at zero and the burst time it is five. So we have to write the burst time here. It takes that means it takes Five uh, milliseconds. Actually, this time we get uh, we take it as milliseconds. So it is five here. So P one it takes five. So we write five here. And then within this five seconds, you can see P two and P four arrives because their arrival time is two and four. So from these two, from these two. Who comes next? So here it says that however long the processes, if they arrive first, they get the priority first. So we have to ignore this burst time. So from this P2 and P4, who gets first? It is the P2. 
right? So we write P2 here and we have to add its birth time to this 5. So 5 plus 6 it is 11. Now uh, yeah, we are done with P1 and now P with P2 and now let's see here it's 11 and within this 11 seconds you can see that P3 also arrives. We already have P4 and now P3 also arrives here. So we have to select one process from these two. Here P3 it is 6 and burst time is 4. P4 arrival time is 4 and burst time is 3. So we have to ignore, ignore these values and from the arrival time which comes next is it obviously it is P4. So we write P4 here and we have to add P4's this bur uh, burst time 3, 3 plus 11, 14. And finally we have P3 and it's 4, so 14 plus 4, 18. And we are done with all four processes. So now we are done with the guard chart. Now I'm going to tell you a way to check whether your guard chart is correct. And that is, you have to get the total of the burst time. So here it is. 10 plus 5, 15 plus 3, 18, right? So the total of the burst time is 18. And you can see that here also, the, at the end of the gun chart, it is 18. So if these two values are same, that means your gun chart is correct, right? So here, our gun chart is correct. And we are done with the first step. As I told you before, we have to find the waiting time and average waiting time now. So let's see how we can do it. So right now let's start with the second step which is the finding the waiting time. To find the waiting time you have to keep this equation in your mind which is Waiting time equals visiting time minus arrival time of the each process. So let's start with P1. Visiting time means the left value of each uh, process which means the time that process comes to the uh, Gantt chart uh, which means that which means the time that process starts its execution. So P1 visiting time is 0 minus arrival time it is 0. So the answer is 0. Then P2 visiting time it is 5 minus arrival time 2. So the answer becomes 3. And then let's move to P3. Visiting time 14 minus arrival time 6. It's 8. And then finally P4. Visiting time is 11 minus 4 becomes 7. So the total of the waiting time is 10 plus 8. 18 milliseconds and then we have to find the average waiting time by dividing this value by the number of 
processes. So here in this example, it is 4 and the answer becomes 4.5 milliseconds. Right, so now we are done with the second and the third steps which are the calculating the waiting time and the average waiting time and now we are going to find the turnaround time. Turnaround time. As well as the waiting time to find the turnaround time you have to keep this equation in mind which is turnaround time equals waiting time waiting time plus burst time so this is the equation to get the turnaround time so let's start with p1 p1 waiting time it is 0 plus burst time it is 5 so the answer becomes 5 and let's move to p2 its waiting time is 3 plus p2 burst time is 6 so the answer becomes 9 and then p3 8 plus 4 12 and then finally p4 it is 7 here and 3 which becomes 10. So we have the total turnaround time it is 36 milliseconds. The average waiting time to get the average turnaround time we have to divide the total from this 4. So the answer is 36 divided by 4, 9 milliseconds. Right, so we are done with all 5 steps. So we have to draw the gun chart, then find the waiting time, average waiting time, turnaround time and finally average turnaround time. So this is how we do first come, first serve. I hope you got what you have to do. I hope you understood what I said. So there are four more to go. So the links will be given in the description and I'll uh, meet with the next video. Till then, be safe and thank you.